I'm gonna be sharing with you guys something that really helps me with my psychology when I'm in a trade. I know a lot of you traders, when you get into a trade, then you get into all kinds of emotions all the time. And then some of you start bailing out the trade early. Some of you panic. Some of you move your stops to break even, price then comes down and hits your stop loss and then goes in your favor. Or some of you close your position off because you're panicking and getting all emotional when you are trading and then all of a sudden it shoots in your favor still, but you're not in the trade. And so guys, this is something that I do whenever I'm in a trade. I'm on NASDAQ right now. You guys know you boys been trading the indices. I wanna put my annotations on now to show you guys exactly what I was thinking to get into certain trades. And you guys would've saw today that your boy was able to capitalize on a beautiful NAS that trade and so that's the trade that I'm going to be referring to okay so I've just put on some annotations I have left out a bit to the right because I'm going to come to that in a second but first of all just to show you guys that this is a new day this is today this is today's price action and right now what have we identified I've identified that there's an institutional candle here you see this upward move before the downward play I'm now in 15 minute time frame you can see that price is dropping okay so that means for me whenever I get into an institutional candle I want to be of the bearish mindset so price trades beneath the previous this week's low and then we know that whenever price drops into a discount you expect price to run up into a premium before dropping again they created relative equal highs and they also created relative equal lows but at the same time you have to bear in mind what have they done they've also traded above short-term highs and so you know that okay now price is telling you that it wants to trade back into the range now it's time to take price to the upside and obviously whenever you see relative equal lows look you can never bank on these sometimes they do work i don't trade them i know a lot of retail concept traders who trade these and you know they're quite happy trading that and is what it is but i use this more for liquidity so whenever i see something like this i'm looking to take out the liquidity first so if i move on to the right now you can see what happens now we've moved to the right a little bit you can see what's happened now price has traded up into my institutional candle one of the reasons i really liked this sell was because we had run relative equal highs and pushed up into an institutional candle and we are cleared up all kinds of imbalances too. So that was decent, that was good. And then the target was going to be these relative equal lows. Well, technically it would have been here for the main one, but I would have taken partials at these relative equal lows because there's liquidity there. So I'm gonna mark up the very lowest point of this institutional candle right here. And now I'm gonna to go to the one minute time frame. So I'm gonna delete this for now just to show you something at my last up close candle which is this line over here price traded into it this is when i got into my sell and the target would have been these relative equal lows and the intraday lows but what does price do price creates relative equal highs and when they create relative equal highs look this is one of the signs that price is not looking to turn around yet and so in my eyes i'm like okay cool i'm, I'm going to break even this trade i'm going to break even this trade because when they produce relative equal highs especially before equity open then most likely going to run out that high so in my discord i just put out that look i'm closing this break even you know there's relative equal highs here your boy doesn't trust them so this is why you see that right so that gets cancelled now i'm going to move to the right a little bit more so I've just deleted that for now, the cell, just so you can see this very clearly. Now, price trades up into this high three times. So in other words, it produces triple highs over here. You never ever want to be trading triple highs. So they produced triple highs at my last uploads candle. Your boy wasn't happy with that. So then what happens next? So I'm giving you all of this to show you guys what my mindset was at the beginning. When they created these relative equal highs, you have to bear in mind what price is doing here. Price is traded above up close candles. It's retraced into a discount and it's pushed off again up into a premium. What do you think is going to happen? You want to wait for price to retrace down into a discount or into equilibrium. So from this very low to this very high, yes, I know it's very annoying because you're using relative equal lows, but this is a low right now. And we've taken out the size, so this is a low. So from the very low to the very high, if you eyeball up 50%, you should get down to this institutional candle. This is where I took my buy. So you saw that I was in a NASDAQ buy from this low over here so basically this down close candle here this whole down close candle and i took it to this high so let's put it up now so this is my entry as you guys can see you're going to also see the screenshot as well so now when it comes to this this is why this video was created now it wasn't to show you guys my entry and you know where i was looking to tp you guys know i was running this money this was the money i was running look what they did before they took out the money look what they did they traded higher just a little bit came back down close to my entry. At that point, some of you would have bailed out because some of you might have seen some kind of break and retest to the downside and look to sell. You see that little break and retest to the downside, you know, retail traders trade those concepts. They would have looked at that and been like, okay, cool, this is a sell. Or look at that, when price teased us, came to this high 
and then it rejected to the downside a little bit. So once again, look, your emotions would have been, should I close the trade? I should have closed the trade at the time. They're not gonna run out the equal highs. Are they gonna run that money? They're pushing away now. They even gave us two sell candles here. That would have made you think again that, okay, cool, price is going to the downside. Now, check this out one more time. Look, they push up again to these highs, but you know there's money up here. Okay, there's gonna be money up here. And what did they do? They reject again. And you have to remember, time is going. The longer you stay in the mindset of, okay, I'm emotionally unstable about this trade right now, the more likely you're gonna close your trading position. And then once again, look, they come up again after they've rejected again with a wick this time to make people think that now this is gonna be a strong zone to sell from because this is like some resistance. It's tried four times, surely it must drop now. So they could be thinking that. Once it does that again and it pushes lower, it even trades beneath a low. So once again, your, your mind is gonna be telling you to close your position so eventually you see that price runs up to hit the tp smash these triple highs and liquidity has been taken there when it comes to my mindset when it comes to what i was thinking at the time all i could think about was trade towards the money you guys you've heard me say this over and over and over again on this channel if price is drawn towards the money you should trade towards the money during that time when emotions are going wild when you're fingered to close off your position, when you're about to panic out the trade, tell yourself, I trade towards the money. I trade towards the liquidity. And constantly tell yourself that. Whenever you feel to close the trade, say, I trade towards the money. Do you understand? It will help you hold that trade. Look, even myself, I have mentees and I'm sharing this information with all of you guys. Guess what, guys? Even my emotions were a little bit of a roller coaster during this time because all I wanted them to do was to run the money. Just run it. I was about to take a shower, but I couldn't take the shower until they had run the money. But look, guys, let's be real. Obviously, because I went to the gym in the afternoon, came back, ate, then showered, obviously. I felt to close the trade, but all I could say to myself was I trade towards the money. Whenever my emotions started going all through the roof and I wanted to close the position, all I said to myself was I trade towards the money. Price is drawn towards the money, so that's where I'm going to be heading. And eventually, it ran it. After all of this, after all of you know the opinion being put out there that this level was going to hold you have relative equal highs triple highs you have a resistance zone you've got rejections now maybe an engulfing candle here you said i look the cool engulfing candle on a higher time frame then eventually it just smashes through that level and then like i said many times before look it's vitally important to either close your position or take partials when the price runs out liquidity why because oftentimes price can reverse or turn around when it runs out liquidity if you did not take your profits price would have dropped Never back to your entry, you would have either been stopped out break even if you had broken even a trade, or you would have felt so bad that you never close your position when price run liquidity that you would have closed it never past these lows when price has gone into the downside. And so that's why it's vitally important to bear this in mind at all times. Whenever you see money, liquidity, and you're in a position to run that, you tell yourself you trade towards the money, that will help you hold that position. And then once price runs out that money, once price runs the liquidity, that's when you take partials or close your full position. I close off my full position up here. No games. And so I didn't have to suffer the emotion of this, this drop here. I didn't have to suffer none of that because I was done trading on NASDAQ. So remember at all times, trade towards the money. Peace.